Use this technique and I promise you, you'll be creating some amazing artwork in no time. What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to add shading in Procreate, specifically using clipping masks. Clipping masks are fantastic. If you haven't used them before, stay tuned. It's a really great way to go a lot further with your Procreate art and create some really cool pieces. All right, let's have a look at the design I've got in front of me. I did some Japanese chrysanthemums. I designed them uh, for some tattoos on the knees for someone I know. I've gone ahead and colored the left one already, but I haven't done the right one because I want to talk you through this process because it is really useful. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to jump straight into our layers panel. You can see I've got an other folder here, which is where the color is for the flower on the left. We're not going to worry about that now. We've got our outline and I've created a new empty layer above called color. It's going to be for the color we're about to do. First thing we want to do is we want to tap on outline and make it a reference layer. If you haven't heard about reference layers or you want to know more, check out the video at the top of the screen. I did this video recently. It's a fantastic resource if you want to know more about this. But for now, we're going to create this reference layer because everything else done on top of that is going to refer to this layer directly, but it's not going to affect it, which is perfect. Then we're going to go to our color layer. We're going to select the color we want. I've gone for this nice bright orange, and then we can simply drag and drop that color directly onto a section we want to color. And as you can see, because the outline is a reference layer, it hasn't affected the outline, but it's also put the color on its own layer without the outline, which is exactly where we wanna be. It's gonna be perfect for our shading. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a couple of those and we'll move along. Alrighty, it's looking good. Let's just work on the bottom half of this flower at the moment. In the layers panel again, we can see we've got our outline. I can turn that on and off. Fantastic. We've also got the color, which is on its own layer now, and it's perfectly in line with what the outline was doing below it, which is great. So now we've got our color there, we can really focus on the shading, which is the whole point of this video. We're gonna go and create a layer above that, and let's rename this one to shading. Perfect. Now, we created a reference layer a minute ago. We actually wanna create a clipping mask now. So tap on the shading layer, and we're gonna select clipping mask. Almost the reverse of a reference layer, the clipping mask is going to read information from the layer below it, but not make changes to the layer below it. And it's gonna keep it on its own layer. I'll show you what I mean. So now we've got our shading selected. We're gonna go ahead and use the color drop tool. And we're gonna select this nice light color from the top of the petal over here. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure we've got a nice big soft airbrush on, which is great. And we're gonna really make that nice and large. We also wanna make sure the color layer below it is turned on but we do have shading layer selected as a clipping mask, which is very important. We can close that panel. And then when we go ahead and start shading, you can see I'm able to create some nice techniques here or some colors across the top. But if I jump back into that layers panel, it hasn't affected the outline and it hasn't affected the solid color below it as well. This is a really great technique. This is gonna to allow you to shade very, very fast in Procreate, and it's gonna to allow you to make some really cool, in-depth shading transitions and effects without worrying about ruining the whole entire piece. It's gonna to allow you to be very detailed as well, something you can't get if every bit of the color is on the same layer. So we can go ahead and just make changes to this as we see fit. Obviously, I've probably put too many uh, of the orange petals in the same layer here because it's uh, starting to cross over into other petals, but that's okay. For the purpose of this, it's looking really good. We can hit this bit here with a little bit of a highlight. Maybe this one too. And as you can see already, I'm starting to get a really cool effect going there. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what it would look like if we added in the underside of the petals as well in this red, and then we'll come back and see what the finishing piece looks like. And there we have it, as you can see with this very simple technique, I've already started to get some really nice depth in there with the color, which is really, really important. And this way is gonna allow you to do that. I encourage you to create as many layers as you can. So for this piece over here, I would have created maybe one or two petals at a time. And then when I was happy with the color, we can use our two fingers and we can join them. So once we join them, they're together, uh, they're merged and then we can go ahead and keep creating more over the top of that. As you can see here, those two, and I can even join them as well. So now that piece of the flower is ready to go, and you can see how I did that in very, very short amount of time, but was able to do some very effective shading. Use this technique, utilize clipping masks along with reference layers, and I promise you, you'll be creating some amazing artwork in no time. 
That's all for today. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.